This is a quick video how to customize the prompt on the Mac. If you open the terminal, you're greeted with the uh, shell prompt. It contains information like your username, the host name, and a path relative to your home. The default shell on this system is the bin zsh, and it's a nice extension which allows us to change the prompt and colorize it. Go to Google, search for Oh my CSH. We find here the first link, download instructions at the bottom, and we're going to use the curl way. Copy this link, paste it into the terminal, and we're basically done installing that. The configuration file .cshrc can be edited. There's a variable CSH underscore theme where we can set this to a nice theme called Agnoster. Right, open a new terminal to see the effect. And we can see here that it actually did not uh, produce the arrows as we supposed to see. The reason is that we need an additional font to make it work called SFMono Powerline. Let's Google for it. We find here the link, go to code, click on the copy link. Let's download them via git clone into our desktop. And we can see here the new font files that we need. Installation can be done via fontbook. Click on the plus and go to the desktop, select the files that we just downloaded, open these and these will now be added to the system. If you now open a new terminal, you don't see them taking effect yet. You really need to close the terminal, quit and open it again. And now we can see that taking effect. These arrows are now properly drawn. The theme can be edited to make the colors a little bit better. So we edit the Agnoster theme. Go to the bottom and you'll see how the prompt is actually built up. So several parts are used. This part is actually the directory. Then we have the context, which is this part. And then we also going to modify the AWS. Let's start with the prompt there and go to the routine where it's actually done. We can see here that the background is blue and we have an environment variable, the current foreground. This is actually dependent on a light and a dark variant. So if you look for dark, we can see that if you don't specify anything, it takes the dark variant, which leads to the fact that this is drawn like that. So what we need to do is set the environment, uh, the solarized theme and set that to light. So let's do that. We need to do that in the CSHRC. Open a new terminal to check whether that works. And you can now see it has changed into a nice white, which is much, much more readable. The same has to be done for this part. It is actually the context. So let's go to that one. And what we see, it's black and default. A simple solution is actually just to overwrite this directly with white. Open a new terminal to see what it does. And we can see here it's now clear white on black. The last part which we modify is the AWS. It's based on an environment variable which we can set. Let's do that. I'm going to specify a keyword which I would like to be at first in the prompt. So this is the channel name. Open the terminal and we can see that actually now that is put in front of it, which is exactly what I would like to do. But also keyword AWS in front of it and we can just simply remove that because it's hard coded into the string. Let's see the end result. All right, we have a nice prompt. We have the channel name as the first, a username, the host name, and the directory name all clearly readable and distinguished via different colors. There's one small artifact which you see that the blue of this part is not exactly the same as that, and that is a limitation of the amount of colors of the default terminal. 
What you can use is the item. So download that one that does not have that artifact. Also in Visual Studio Code, you will see that if you open a new terminal, that this is more colors and you won't have that artifact. One nice thing of the Agnoster and many other themes is that if you go into a directory that has Git installed or a Git repository present, you can see the status of that appear. Let's modify a file. You can now see the color change. You can add. Do a commit. And the colors will tell you exactly what the status of your Git repository is. But it's a nice feature to have and makes it really, really clear. So this was setting up the prompt on the Mac and it's quite easy. You can customize it further if you would like to.